Hello, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. We're here live from Capacity Europe. We are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations in the digital infrastructure industry with leaders such as Jen Park Hill here from Verizon Partner Solutions. She is Director of Strategy Execution. Thank you for joining us, Jen. Great to be here. What a great opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. We're so excited to chat with you. And we are talking about a very specific topic on this interview, which I'm really excited about. We're talking about attracting more talent into the industry. So, um, on that note, you were actually on the keynote panel yesterday talking about that very topic. So could you give us just a little overview for folks who weren't able to attend um, a, a key takeaway, perhaps? Perfect. Yeah, it was a great panel with some of my esteemed colleagues across the industry as well. And I think one of the key takeaways is that we have to use data to really make sure we're identifying where the challenges are, where are the opportunities. And then once we institute initiatives and actions, how do we actually then measure their success? And what does that do for the industry? And I think continue to do uh, partnerships with universities and trade programs so we can get that talent into the industry early on. And then, of course, develop them and provide upskilling and reskilling opportunities throughout their careers is going to be key for this industry as we continue to innovate and take advantage of the opportunities the industry has in front of it as well. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, actually w getting to those practical solutions that you're talking about. So what is one practical solution that telecom companies who are watching this um, can implement to support that upskilling and that uh, reskilling that you're referring to? Yeah, that's perfect. So I'm part of the Global Leaders Forum and each year we do an annual study with all the member organizations and upskilling and reskilling came out as one of the key takeaways this year that we needed to focus on. And as part of that, one of the initiatives and a call to action we have for everyone is that we're going to have it like an open source library of curriculum and material that anybody can then access. And so we're asking member companies and everybody here who's watching, if you have content or curriculum that you'd be willing to share for the larger industry to leverage, and obviously you would have then access to what everybody else provides, you know, reach out to me on LinkedIn and we're going to set up this library with the GLF and then get it communicated and updated as time goes on. So we're looking at a sort of a, a near term initiative to get this kicked off. Excellent. Awesome. Well, that's perfect. Thank you so much uh, for that quick update there. And so you've been um, at Verizon Partner Solutions for about a decade now and, and worked for other um, telecom operators previously. So you've been in the industry for, for quite a while. Um, so could you talk a little bit about the shift in priorities uh, when it comes to uh, global wholesale telecom? Sure. I mean, it's amazing. A decade goes quickly, as we can all imagine. And I think we've all seen across the industry the appetite from customers for self-service and automation, making sure they can control the destiny of their services. I think even before the pandemic, but definitely with the pandemic and the hybrid or remote working, making sure we're supporting employees wherever they are with any time connectivity. So I think we're seeing the shift from wireline to wireless services. I know in our space at Verizon Partner Solutions, we're really seeing an uptake in fixed wireless access demand, IoT, and making sure we've got a suite of services that can then support customers wherever their end customers are. And I think we're going to see that continue in addition to enhancing the digital platforms and customer experience so they get what they need to actually activate and quote services when they need them. So it's an exciting time. I think we'll continue to see more use cases, private networking and MEC come through in the next 12, 24 months where I think there's a lot of opportunity for the global wholesale industry and brides and partner solutions to meet the needs of customers around the globe. Yeah. So I think that brings it full circle. It's an exciting time to be in the, be in the industry, which is why, you know, folks should uh, consider joining the industry if they're not or, you know, reskilling, staying in the industry. You know, it's just such a such a dynamic industry to be a part of. Yeah, 100%. Well, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for joining us on JSA TV. And thanks to all of our viewers for joining us on JSA TV. Happy networking.